Hey guys, Zero here. Today I'm playing something that I would say is a little different than usual, but it's actually really different. Today I'm playing The Typing of the Dead. Yes, that's the title. The Typing of the Dead. Some of you may already know of this game, or at the very least you might know the original game that it's based on, which is House of the Dead 2. Why they didn't choose the first House of the Dead game, I don't know. Maybe the second one was more popular? I'm not sure. You can basically think of this game as Mavis Beacon teaches typing with zombies. Instead of shooting them with a light gun, they all have letters, words, or phrases in front of them that you have to type out in order to kill them. I think it was actually a great idea. It's a game that's fun if you don't take it too seriously, and it's a pretty good way to practice and improve your typing skills, because being pressured by hordes of zombies will help make anyone improve their typing speed and accuracy. As a heads up on a few things, the sound is going to be a little unbalanced this time. The sound effects are really loud, especially the gunshots, so it may be a little hard to hear me at times. And there's no way to lower the sound effects volume in the options, so I tried to balance it as best I could. The frame rate is also a little choppy from recording, but the game itself doesn't have the best animation to begin with, so whatever. I'm going to try to avoid talking during the cutscenes so you can hear everything because this game is notorious for its terrible voice acting. But what's funny is that it's one of the things that adds to the charm of the game. And I also may be quiet for some parts because I find that I can't really talk and type well at the same time. It kind of distracts me. But most of the game shouldn't need explaining anyways. I mean, you kill zombies, save people, collect items, and defeat bosses. And as you can see in the intro here, they basically gave uh, an overview of all the events from the first House of the Dead game, which leads up into the second here. And I really like that they did this. Uh, this is one of the reasons why this game is pretty funny. As you can see, in front of them, they all have keyboards, which I don't know how they're staying perfectly flat like that in front of them. But, and on their backs, they have the Sega Dreamcast, because this game wasn't just for the PC. This was actually on the Dreamcast as well. Which I was surprised because back then I thought, well, how do you play the game then? But I found out that like, apparently there's some uh, keyboard accessory or whatever so that you can actually play it. So I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, for me, it just made more sense to just play this on the PC to begin with. And there you have Goldman. <laughs> he has the best voice in the game. And by the best, I mean the worst. Type or die. Kind of like skate or die. The typing of the dead. I like that they actually changed that too. The typing of the dead. The typing of the dead. Yeah, that. Uh, before we start the game, we're gonna jump into the options real quick. You can see we have different difficulties. I'm just gonna leave that on normal. Now, the life count normally you can only choose between one or three. But by playing the original mode and earning coins, you can unlock more. So I unlocked five lives, and for continues, you normally only have three or five. I unlocked nine, as well as infinite, but that's a little too unfair, so we'll just go with nine. Even that's pretty unfair, but whatever. Uh, the keyboard type, we'll leave it on the US. The word size, we'll leave it on normal. And we'll leave the rest. Now, I the only difference I know between arcade and original mode is that in original you can actually get items to use. Um, I don't know of any uh, any other differences if anyone else uh, knows, but I'm just gonna play the original mode because I think it's more fun that way. So here we go. All right, so we're just gonna start off with the first chapter, of course. There are six chapters total, so this should take about six videos, about one chapter per video, I'd say. We're meeting G over there. What? That opening line makes more sense when you actually have a partner with you. Otherwise it's like, we're meeting. Like, who are you talking about, we? You're by yourself, dude. Please be safe, G. Nah, G's fucked. Just like everyone else. How could anyone do this? This is all magically appears. The words will get harder as we go along. G! James, 
I try. Don't underestimate the enemy. James, take this. James, you got a band-aid, it hurts. He has toy hammers. Harry and Amy are coming to back us up. Hurry! Go! Thanks, G. Yeah, thanks, G. Now I'm just gonna leave you to die. Later. Ah! Ah! Damn it. Oh, you can't save that guy. I don't wanna die. My god. No, too bad, dude. Don't come! Go away! Go away! Go away! No! Please! Help him! You help him! Help! Maybe if you get up off your ass, dude. Thanks. You can get outside that way. Instead of sitting there whining. No! I could have sworn I hit the end. I fucking hate saving that guy. Whatever, fuck him. It's his own fault. He's crawling on the ground. Get in the water. Alright, let's see what I get. No! Help! 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 No! <laughs> okay, that was kind of sloppy, but whatever. And is it just me, or does this thing have a monkey face on? I can't remember if that was in the original or not, though, now that I think about it. Oh, he did it, alright. Did what? Uh, I don't know. Help! I can hate numbers. Numbers and symbols give me a lot of trouble. She's like, oh, thank you, and then, oh, shit! Don't come! Please! Thank you! Please take this! And for saving her, we get a life up, but we're already full, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> nah, I'm more badass than G. Alright, so we get the first boss here. He wasn't that bad in the, uh, in the arcade, I guess. But here, he doesn't have an actual weak point. He's got to type the words that he has. <laughs> Who's the king? I'm the king. Get back. Damn right, oldies with goodies. Oldies are the best. You can see he steps back. He always goes to a minimum distance. That was kind of nice that they did that. So you always have a minimum distance he has to be. It gives you some space. Fuck that up a little bit. Whatever. This is going to be full of mistakes, and I just can't help that. By mistakes, I mean me. I, I don't always type properly. What can I say? Damn it. <laughs> That's a bear! <laughs> Celeb her. Parasites. Nice. Amy! Harry! Thank God you're alive! What the hell's going on in this city? Don't know, but it's very similar to the 1998 Tyrion case. That case? James, go and prevent the confusion in the city. Okay, let's meet at Sunset Bridge. We're counting on you, James. No more fooling around! No more fooling around! Like, what, what were we doing before then? Just slacking off? Ah, uh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, we still got a life bonus, but again, we didn't need it. 
All right, and for some dumb reason, they put a timer on the chapter select. I don't know why. The only thing I know how to stop it is to just like, go to the status screen here to uh, make a stop. And you can see I already earned the coins for the first chapter. But all right, so that's it for this one. In the next one, we will start chapter two. So I'll see you then.